What's up, YouTube? This is the new edition, new improved edition of Cool's Comic Book Basement. As always, I'm your host, Jason Cool. And yeah, for our, my few fans and friends, fans and friends, you know, that I have on my last show, this is a new improved show. I know it's been a while, like a long, long while. I'm back, baby, though. So, you know, let's begin. Uh, today was the show we're just going to talk about this weekly that came uh, last Wednesday, and but before I start talking about that, it's um, I want to get a shout out to my boy Young Ripper, fifty nine. Yo, get at me, dog. I'm a big fan of your show. Finally, someone who has the same opinion as me about the MCU and how it should be done and why it's important not tokenize main characters so much not so much of like not the main characters but i'm sorry uh uh some people are, i'm sorry but yeah some people think that tokenizing mary jane uh wasn't you know a big deal but i'm sorry but that was and it's just a big like whoopsie daisy you know, on you you know on MCU part, dude. They just don't understand what they're doing. Me and Young Ripper need to talk, get in there and start directing. Anywho, so, yeah. So, let's get this show on the road. So, yeah. Oh, I'm sorry about this setup right here. I promise you a better one. I'm just slapping this together, you know, right before I get to work. I'm going to mean to do this show all week, but it's Sunday now. And I'm fine starting to tape it. I have to go get ready for work soon, so that's something real quick, you know. So, yeah. And if you're new, for people who don't know me, tune in to Coos Comic Book Case, book that Coos Comic Book Basement every week. I promise you a bunch of entertainment and up to dates on the new comics that come out that week. So, yeah, I stopped by last Wednesday and I picked up a reprint. That's so awesome. This is a reprint. I think this is like the second or third time they fight Poison Ivy. But, you know, remember in Batman Forever when she, the movie, when she, like, kissed them with, you know, and they made Batman and Robin, like, uh, like, yo, fuck you, dog. She's mine. And, yeah, well, this is where they got that idea. When they fight over Poison Ivy, you know, in the movie. This is where they get the idea, yo. I'm pretty sure of it. And I like they read it and they're like, yep, that's part of the movie. So I'm gonna read more of that later. We also got Doomsday Clock, number eleven out of twelve. Hell yeah! So if we all know, we all watched the Watchmen movie. Hat <laughs> get Watchmen watch. Watch the Watchmen. Y'all watch that? Watchmen movie? About, the, like, a darker version of, like, Justice League? Well, you know. So, this is a crossover to DC Universe, and it's Doomsday Clock, blah, 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 blah. So, this has been going, this series has been going on for a few, two to three years, or so, two, probably two years, maybe three. Any who's old. Yeah, they're finally at number 11. There's only 12 issues. So... I can finally read this after waiting for two years. Because I wasn't going to wait. Because I know how long I was probably going to make them take them to do this. So I waited. I can finally read it now. So I can remember what happened after the, you know, number nine. I can remember what happened when I get to the 12. So thanks for that. I'm going to be looking forward to reading that. So yeah, and then yeah, check it out. Yeah, in case you can't read backwards. Yeah, it's Archie and Friends, the new series. And I had to just get it because of the covers. They're all like, Back to the Future and Back to School at the same time, yo. Yeah. Let's smash that shit together. Whoop, whoop. Yeah, cuz, check that out. And uh, it's another one that came out. It's uh, Avenger Savage. If you watch Young Ripper 59, he likes talking about it. It's way over there i forgot to grab it and now i'm recording so uh 
check out if you're interested in checking out books and you never checked out Avengers or never checked out any books, check out Avengers Savage. It has Wolverine, Elektra, all your you know owners like Punisher, Venom, Voodoo, Brother, Brother Voodoo. No, who no one teams up with, but it, these are all people who don't team up with nobody. And then they're on Savage Island with all the dinosaurs are at, and they're doing a bunch of like crazy suicide missions because uh, they're crazy. And it's a really good read. It's one. There's three right now. There's three that come out each month, and I look forward to. And that's one of them. And the other one. But I'll make sure I think we talked about everything else. Yeah, that's the ones I grabbed off the shelf last week. Yep, that's it. Now I'm going to talk about what I can't wait for every month. The new Pernister series. This is number uh, number 15. Number 15. Now, in this series, Punisher's taken out... So he's taking on the whole Hydra army. He's just taking out all the Hydra, like, leaders. Like, in the very first, uh, the very, very first issue, he takes out Mandarin with a, a magic bullet. So all the norms out there, don't you know, Mandarin, the fake Mandarin was in uh, Iron Man 3, which was some bullshit. They should have just done Mandarin, who is an Iron Man villain. And the thing is, Iron Mandarin is uh, like a mini famous. Okay, he has rings that has powers on his rings. You know, he got his rings all full of his fingers. Do, yeah. And like the thing is, the thing that makes him a magical uh, hard villain. Most vil- most heroes only have like one major power that they count on, and then like some like some minor powers that help him with the major power that they have. And what makes him such a hardcore villain is all his rings are major powers. Like, if he has one at Fireball, and I think he can do one, I think he can do one at Time, uh, te- he Teleport, or anywho, yeah. He's got all of these rings, and they're all major powers. And Punisher takes him out with a magic bullet in the first one. And now he's going at the Zemo. The another uh, Hydra leader and Zemo, you know, um, remember um, Winter Soldier? Yeah, the villain in that one, one of the villains in that one, Zemo. Yeah, he's in that one. So yeah, and you know, so and this this right here, this issue right here, might prove that might show that Punisher is a Bigger badass than Batman. And see, people who don't know, and I don't know how I feel about Batman, first of all. I know, I read how I, he's the best, I know he's the best superhero in history. Batman is. But, uh, who don't know who Punisher is, he's like a Punisher, it's like pretend Batman became a grown adult. Had family, two kids. You know, had two kids, and then watched his two kids and his wife murdered in front of him and the mob. Okay, he would end up, this is what he would be ending up as. So, Punisher's just like Batman, but just different mental mindset. He, he'll he kill a, a criminal for, for jaywalking. He, he'll just blow his head off. He don't care. He, he knows he's a, you know, he's a criminal. He's like, oh, that was like one criminal, you know, there's a drug dealer. I'm, He's jaywalking. I got him. Bam. Yeah, this guy is nuts, okay? Punisher is definitely, okay, Batman's definitely my vote for number one superhero, but he's the number one anti-superhero. I would vote Deadpool if Deadpool wasn't such a dumbass. So I can't vote for someone who's retarded like Deadpool. I'm sorry. Um, so, yeah, if it wasn't, if it was, if he was smart like Frank Castle here, he would be my number one vote. But Punisher right here, man, I'm telling you, he ain't joking around. He doesn't do jokes, and that's his thing. That's his, you know, little thing. He doesn't joke around, like Batman. 
which, uh, you know, it's funny because a lot of things they do, it's kind of funny in a, you know, dark kind of way. So, yeah, we got Zemo. He's disguising himself right here. You see him on the tank. You know, he, the, the tank's part, part of my subject. Yeah, Zemo, he disguises himself as, like, a crossover of, like, Iron Patriot and uh, Sword Man. And if you don't know who those are, I don't have time to describe. So, Google it. Okay, so, right. So, Parnas has got his buddies. Uh, he's got a... I don't know if you can see it. He's got... He called up uh, Black Widow. Uh, and got Black Widow. And he's got Ghost Rider riding with him. Skateboard Dude or whatever his dumb name is. And I don't know how... There we go. Yeah, there you go. There's Ghost Rider. Yeah. So, in this, uh, um, Moon, uh, what's his name? Um, what's his name? Uh, Moon, uh, darn it. He's a mercenary. His name's Moonstar or Moon. I forget his name. I'm sorry, guys. I'm retarded. I, I really am. But that's the, and that's the cover. I got this cover because it's way more badass. Look, he's got that guy, got that guy image in the background, and he's got his highest blazing. So they're about to take on 400, 400 Hydra just soldiers along with the supervillains. So yeah, so Punisher's got his boys, and. These guys are, you know, Kingpin's got these boys, along with Zemo, who's Punisher's target. He's got him uh, dressed up as this uh, Captain America and Sword Man goof. So Punisher doesn't know that's him and try to kill him right off the bat. Because that's Punisher's target right now. So, oh yeah, here we go. First day, you know, right off the bat, they set 97 out of the 400 blades, okay? They're just like, okay, you guys are dead. Okay. Now there's only, you know, 300 more or so of my to go, including like super villains. And, you know, Zemo's on that tank right there. See that? And Black Widow is all like, yo, Castle, we need to back up and like rethink this. We just can't take this tank head on. We just, tank, we can't do that. You're, you're nuts if you think we can do that. What does Castle think? Well, well, hell, what are you talking about? Hell, no. I'm taking this tank the head on. He just flashes a bunch of fools. Blah, 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 blah. You know, and they're like, oh, man, man. And he knows we, uh, that we're going to just have to come back for him. He knew that. Yeah, we're going to have to come back for him. Damn it, Castle. You always gotta go on these suicide missions. We don't have a different like you, dude. Why you gotta be always be doing this crazy ass, half ass plan, dude? Uh, so yeah, Castle is taking on a tank and an army of men head on. He's like, yeah, I don't got time for that for replanning and stuff. These mofo's gotta die tonight. Right now, dude, it's happening. No time for refiguring, okay? The war is on. So, yeah. You know, there they are. And then they're big time war. Check it out. Check it out, yo. Know? Yeah. And this villain or whatever, the thund oh, new member of the Thunderbolts is all like, yeah, I dreamt about this, taking you on for nights, yo. I've been thinking about this for years, taking on the Punisher. <laughs> and, and Punisher just lights his ass up. He just lights up. Look, I'm trying to, I, I like to move around and stuff because, you know, I'm hyper. I'm taking, a, I'm taking a little sip of my Red Bull. Damn. So he just blows him away, right? And goes, I don't even know who you are. And he claims not to be a comedian. 
And I only know who you are. <laughs> and this guy. And then, I guess he realizes that that's Zemo. Because he charges right for the guy on the tank. Yeah. You know? I mean, and earlier in the series, he drives a tank in Moscow, Russia, take down a bunch of uh, Hydra soldiers. And now he's taking the tank head on. And look, he's going to tackle. I don't know how Zemo barely, he barely gets him a fresh wound with, you know, with all the bullets he just shot at him. And then Punch just tackles him. He just runs up to him and goes, and just spears him. The spears the crap out of him. <laughs> <laughs> Punishing, dude, you're nuts. Look at that. that. Okay, and actually, and like Batman did, like a little. If you watch that, not, not, I'm sorry, but that's a more cooler version than, than Batman. Uh, if you watch the animated series, I thought that was a little cold when Batman, the beginning of the, the intro, if you watch the animated series, the beginning of the, the intro song starts and you see batman and these thugs are like yo it's over with you bats and he like does his little zip 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 and like like they take like two or three shots at him and he just zip zap zoom and like dodges all the bullets he just like poof, poof, he does like a little shuffle and like and then he's like right up their faces and punches them and does batman stuff and i always thought that was cold-blooded dog and two i watched punisher one of two, the guy on a tank, sh taking shots at him, and then he even zip, zip, zap. We just run up to him and like, bam! Yeah, the Punisher, yo, don't you forget my name yet? Don't you know me, cuz? Don't you forget who you just got knocked out, dude? You know me, cuz? I'm Punisher, dog. Bam! Yeah! It's blink -oom. And, yeah, and I don't know who you are. Blam, 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 blam. And dude's nuts. I'm sorry, but I think he's more Batman. If he would have had his, like, uh, Batmobile or one of his, one of his uh, mobiles that have guns and bombs and stuff, he might have took the tank head on. But I don't know if Batman would take the tank head on if, you know, him and his Batman family didn't have the Batmobile and any of the Bat like mobiles or mobile cycles and what you would call it. If he didn't have that like to his hands and like at that at that moment, he might have backed up and tried maybe refigure the plan. I don't know. I I I've never seen Batman had to deal with the tank. Says he doesn't get loud like Punisher, like. Punisher asses for a tank to come take him out. You know, he murders bad guys left and right with not even blinking an eye. Batman doesn't kill anybody. He doesn't get loud like Punisher at, at all. So he never had to deal with a tank. Because the villains don't feel like, you know, he's got a rocket launcher shot at him, you know. A couple of here, big explosions. But yeah, never had to take head on a tank that I recall. So... And uh, I think Batman would regroup and refigure, though, because he didn't know. If he didn't know the tank was coming and wasn't prepared for it, like, they wasn't prepared for this tank to come at them, uh, he would, you know, want to be scared. And he might have took it home head on because he takes guys with guns all the time. You know, what's a, you know, a huge tank, you know. One thing you realize about a tank, you know, it has to first slowly aim at its target and then go blue kablooey. You know, you got time to say, oh, it's aiming at me and like dive as far away as you can because, you know, no one's going to, you know, be a, none of the bad guys are going to want to stand around. So you have room for a duck and roll or a huge duck and roll. But, yeah, Batman might still, you know, come up with another plan before he... He might. I'm not saying he wouldn't take on a tank head on. <coughs> but I feel like the Batman I know, and I know Batman, might be like, 
take a couple steps back and then cut three steps forward first. So Punisher might be more of a badass. I mean, it, it really pains me to say it too, because he Spam is such a badass. Like he's like a badass. It's like a super power for Batman to be. That's how badass he is. And Punisher just might took us one step farther. So that's my that's my show for today. We'll check out next Wednesday what's going on in the comic world and what's flying off the shelves. Until next time, this is Cool's Comic Book Basement. I'm your host, Jason Cool, and that's what's up. Yeah.